about verification of bug fixes. My people from the Federal University of Bahia um, are the speakers for Ligo Sosa. Please go ahead. First of all, this is how a bug report works. First, someone reports a new bug. After some discussion, a developer submits a bug fix and marks the bug as fixed. And then someone else verifies that the bug fix is appropriate and marks the bug as verified. In this exploratory work, we intend to characterize the process of verification of bug fixes by mining bug repositories. And we investigate three questions. When are bug fixes verified? Who verifies the bug fixes? And how are they verified? Uh, we used the data from the previous MSR challenge uh, containing about 10 years of bug reports from two open source IDs, NetBeans and Eclipse. And we have analyzed two sub-projects for each. So first, when are bug fixes verified in this project? We plotted the accumulated number of verifications over time for the projects. And in the case of NetBeans, the verification rate is almost constant, meaning that bug fixes are verified all the time. For Eclipse platform, however, verifications are much more frequent just before a release, uh, which suggests that there is a, a, a verification phase in Eclipse's process. Next, uh, who verifies the bug fixes? In some projects, there is a team dedicated to, to verifications, the, the quality assurance team, uh, or a QA team. Okay? So we define that a QA team is formed by all developers who perform at least 10 times more verifications than bug fixes. And using this definition, we discover that in that means, uh, the QA team is formed by 20% uh, of the developers who perform more than 80% of the verifications. In the case of Eclipse, no QA team was found. Finally, how are bug fixes verified? Uh, what techniques are used to verify each bug fix? We have looked at the comments developers write when they mark a bug as verified. But it appears that most comments just state the obvious, that the bug fix was verified using some version of the software. And using regular expressions, we discovered that less than 4% of the comments refer to some te techniques such as automated testing or code inspection, although further research is needed in, in this part. We'd also like to share some pitfalls we found during this research. Uh, by plotting the, the accumulated number of verifications for NetBeans platform over its lifetime, we see what, what appears to be a huge verification effort, represented by this big rise in the graph. By looking at the data, however, we found that this big rise represents more than 2,000 bugs that were verified in just five hours <laughs> by only one guy. <laughs> <laughs> of course, no, no human being can do that, okay? Uh, the developer was not actually verifying the bug fixes. Uh, it turns out uh, Superman was just doing some cleanup by marking old bugs as verified. So uh, be careful about, uh, about such mass verifications because they may represent a large part of the verifications in the project, but they are not real verifications, and they may bias your analysis. Also, by reading a few comments, verification developers write when they mark a bug is verified, we discovered that in some projects, marking a bug is verified has a special meaning. For example, in Eclipse Modern Framework, it just means that the bug fix was made available and viewed in the website. No actual verification. Future work? Well, people say that if you control your process, you can control the quality of your product. So we want to investigate 
what features of the verification process influence it directly or indirectly the reopening of bugs. Uh, for example, is it more effective to have a verification phase or to verify bugs all the time? We tend to, to build a causal method to investigate these and other questions, so we are looking for variables uh, that, that influence the verification process or, or the reopening. Uh, thank you very much.